Today I am making Claude Monet roll in his grave because I am a prodigy and better than him in every single way. Do you see this butterfly? I won first place in my grade for the whole town for this. That's right, not just my school, for all the schools in the land. What did you win, Claude? I'm painting this picture of my siblings and I because I think it's hilarious. Are we enjoying fireworks or holding ritual? I don't know. I will let you know that two children in that picture did grow up to have arsonist behaviors. Love is on fire, Who? Let me tell you about the last time I ever did play with fire. It was freshman year, me, my best friend, and her boyfriend were all hanging out at our local park, like usual. Um, but this day we decided to go into the baseball dugout and that's when we found a trash can full of empty pizza boxes. All three of us had the same collective thought, let's set these bitches on fire. We let them burn for a little bit, then we put the fire out and put them back in the trash can because we were not heathens. But unbeknownst to us, one of the neighbors had called the police. She was just a concerned citizen seeing smoke coming out of the dugout. A few minutes post fire, we hear the sirens. Me and my bestie, in the wind. Her boyfriend stayed and was just like, yeah, I guess I'll take the blame for all of this. We're almost to her house and she stops us. We have to go back. We can't let him take all of the blame for this. Let's think clearly for a second. The finish line is right there. I can literally see your house. What do you mean you want to go back now? So we go back. <laughs> We go back and we talk to the officer and he's like, okay kids, I'm gonna give you guys a warning, but I'm gonna have to call your parents and let them know what you were doing here today. <sighs> call my parents. I internally collapsed. I'm a delinquent. I'm gonna get kicked out and live on the streets. Like what? what is there left for me? So I just started. After giving the officer my dad's phone number, I immediately ran home to tell my parents because they had to hear it from me first. Okay, I was not gonna let them hear it from some crazy random officer. I told my parents and they laughed at me. They laughed at me. Always the butt of the joke. And that's a joke about my high school nickname being No Butt Brie. No, so a couple days later, we're hanging out again and my friend's like, yeah, I didn't tell my dad. The officer never called. And then her boyfriend's like, yeah, me either. I'm sitting there thinking, and I'm like, the officer didn't call my dad. <laughs> Little trickster. I was manipulated by the police. The thing is, I wasn't even raised in the Catholic church, so I don't know why I hold so much guilt in my little conscience and I have to confess all of my sins all the time, but I do. And that's how I was scared straight. And that's a joke about how everybody thought I was a lesbian. Let's be honest, I wasn't helping the rumors much. <laughs> Monet just wouldn't get what I'm doing. And that, that's on him. I'm gonna do some check-ins. Where I'm leaving ya. I know it looks so good. It looks so good right now. Wow, I can't believe it. Hey, check-in time. You have to look at it way far away. That's the only way Monet looks good. It's from way far away. It's coming together. But also, I've been listening to Stick Season on repeat for an hour. I, I have been so hyper-focused on this. Grown <laughs> <laughs> people should never laugh! Dream each night of some version of you that I cannot have, but I did not lose. Now your tire tracks in one pair of shoes, and I'm split in half. That'll have to do. It's a couple weeks later, and I was editing the video, and I realized I didn't film anything else. Bye.